Hello, my friends at YouTube, uh, my brothers and sisters. This is God's gift giving you another message. Um, I've been hearing a lot of messages on how the rapture is kind of delayed and how people are a little bit upset that God has not, or excuse me, Jesus has not come to rapture us up. But, you know, we got to continue thinking about our other brothers and sisters and that who are not saved, uh, those who, who really need God to come into their lives before he comes because, you know, they're going to be eternally lost. Um, anyway, um, I've been hearing a lot of these things and, you know, we need to try to help and get, you know, more people. So my son and I, we were out to eat and, um, decided to speak with the waitress. Uh, she looked like she was having a pretty bad day and she <laughs> didn't have a smile on her face and she seemed just like the world was just caving in on her. So I told my son, I said, you know, I need to speak with her and talk to her about Jesus and see what, uh, you know, what, what we can do to bring a smile on her face. So I, you know, when she handed me the check and I paid and she came back and I said, uh, may I speak with you for a minute? And she says, yes, yes. And I said, I said, do you have uh, Jesus in your life? Do you know who Jesus is? And she kind of looked at me funny. And I said, you know, I said, he can change you. He can, you know, without Jesus, you know, things seem pretty bad. And I was explaining to her how, you know, Jesus can help her in her life. And I believe that he, you know, sent me today to speak with her. And so I said, you know, I said, I don't know why, but I said, I feel like um, something is telling me to talk to you today about Jesus. And she had this puzzled look on her face and she says, uh, she kind of looked at me and she says, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? And I said, oh, it's, it's a good thing. I said, you know, I said, if he wants me to speak to you, then apparently he must feel that, you know, you need to hear some type of encouragement or, you know, I don't know exactly what the wording was, but I did tell her, you know, that I, I felt like I was sent to speak with her because I had this real tugging at my heart on, uh, needing to talk to her about. Jesus and and so she looked at me and she says you know my friend she she's been telling me she has this feeling that I'm going to get a new job she says I'm you know pretty upset with things and she says and this job is just bringing me down and just one thing after another has just been kind of collapsing in on me and I said well I said you know if you uh call out to Jesus I said he he can change your life and she said, I feel like there's a constant dark cloud hanging over me. She says, it's one thing after another, after another. And I said, well, you know, I said, if uh, you call out for Jesus to save you, I said, do you realize that you as a Christian, you would be able to um, speak to the demons and, and get rid of them? by saying, you know, you rebuke them in Jesus' name. I told her, I said, Jesus' name is very powerful. And I said, they will flee. I said, you know, I this isn't something that's, you know, a myth. I said, it is true. I said, I've used it in my life and many others have. And I said, it has changed our life. And she said, really? And I said, yeah. I said, Jesus will, you know, come to you and he will... He will change your life if you just give him the chance. And she says, well, she says, you know, I, I never knew that. And I said, well, I said, maybe that's what I was here for. Maybe to, you know, give you some direction and let you know what Jesus can do. And, you know, by the end of the conversation, I, you know, I'm paraphrasing things that, you know, I actually said to her, but I told her, I said, you know, there really was a reason I was sent here to talk to you. And I feel that, you know, he felt you needed him. And so I told her, I said, do yourself a favor tonight and, you know, pray to Jesus and tell him, you know, that you need his help. And, and, uh, he will come help you. He will be there and he's going to change you and, and your life if you just let him. And she seemed kind of optimistic about it. Like, you know, she really was going to give this a chance. And, and, uh, I pray, 
you know, that she does. I, I pray that there's many more of you out there that don't know Jesus, that please give him a try. Jesus is here to save us. Oh, look, a hawk. Jesus is here to save us. He knows that, you know, things are coming to an end, and he's trying to pull us all together. And if one of us, each and every one of us, get one person to believe in him, to trust in him, you know, you know how many people that would be if we could all just do one person? I mean, people like, you know, Anita Fuentes and, you know, many others that are very big people out there, they can pull thousands in where, you know, hey, I'm just, I would be happy to have one person saved by me. I'm kind of new at this, uh, you know, talking to people. This was actually my first time that well, no, second time, but the first time that I just felt urged to speak with somebody. And, you know, it did change her day. She had a smile on her face, and I think she's really going to speak with God tonight. I pray she does. She seems very optimistic about, you know, what I was telling her, and she seemed like she needed to hear that. She needed to hear something good in her life because apparently things were not going good. I mean, I could tell just from the look on her face, she was not happy. She was kind of depressed and seemed like the world weight was on her shoulders. And, you know, I, I pray for her. I, I don't know her, but, you know, she's she's a person serving people. And, you know, it would be really nice to see her serving the Lord. And maybe maybe things change for her. I pray they do. But, you know, I mean, this is kind of just a message to let you know that if you see a stranger that just seems like they're having a bad day, speak up. You know, let, maybe maybe something you'll say will change their life for eternity. And that would be a blessing. God would love to hear that. And I pray that uh, anybody that hears this message would try to do the same thing. Just, you know. Maybe you're way ahead of me on this game, but you know I I don't I don't care if you're new or old at it. But we all could use a little uplifting in our life. And, and I know if I was not as close to God as I am now, if I was having a horrible day and knew that the black cloud was hanging on me and things were just constantly awful, I think uh, I think I would be thanking God that somebody would come to me and tell me about that. So I'm not patting myself on the shoulder or anything, but I know as myself, I've been through those days and, you know, wasn't as close to the Lord as I am now. And if somebody was to come to me, instead of that person being afraid to speak to me, I mean, it would be a true blessing to know that they even thought to talk to me about that. But that's my opinion, and I pray that, you know, I pray that she seeks out the Lord some more. And, uh, well, that was just a short thing I just wanted to tell everybody. And I wanted to give everybody encouragement because, you know, things may look really gloomy one day and beautiful the next, but we're still on the same mission every day, trying to do good by, Lord, you know, the Lord and see if we can better ourselves and, in the meantime, bring someone else in. I know... um I don't know, I haven't been on YouTube in a couple of weeks and I just felt like I had to do another message and I pray the good Lord will, you know, bless this woman and give her a chance and I pray for her soul and I pray, Lord, that you watch over anybody else who's having the same situation, Lord, that you give them a chance to, you know, see that someone cares for them and gives them a chance that knowing you lord i don't know when my chance came i know it's been quite a while and i thank you lord for coming into my life and i pray lord that you will be with all the watchmen all the teachers and preachers lord that they will be speaking your word and bringing people in because uh we know the end is near and we know your signs have been showing up everywhere and we thank you for keeping your hand on us and blessing this nation um you know, we could we could be fired upon at any time or flood or earthquake or whatever. But, Lord, we know you've been with us. Um, those who are praying stead steadily, asking you to be patient and 
you know, please save my sister, my friend, my brother, neighbor, whatever. Um, you're giving us that time, and I thank you, Lord. And Lord, I thank you for this beautiful day. I pray that all my brothers and sisters are out there being blessed by you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you will keep bringing your messages through your watchmen and those who are prophets of yours and those who see visions. We thank you, God. Because I'm not one of them. I don't see visions. I don't see, you know, I don't have the dreams. I don't have any special insight. But um, I guess my blessing is compassion and a peacemaker. I hate to see people fighting. I hate to see... Um, people not getting along, and if there's any anger in the air or anything going on, I immediately, I don't know, I just, I can't handle it. I don't like to see hatred. I'm always trying to bring peace in the family. Sometimes it's overwhelming, and other times it's like I talk to them and tell them, you know, it's not worth it, and by the grace of God, they sometimes hear me and, you know, make peace. Um, I've been blessed recently that my daughter is really, really coming along, seeing the Lord and his works and starting to understand the, that we are in the end times. My son, too. But my daughter, she's the younger one. She's really starting to see um, some of the things that are going on with the in the news and she's starting to put two and two together that you know we're we're in those days we're we're getting down to it this is just a beautiful day but um i just wanted to give everybody a you know thank everybody for all those hard workers out there preaching and teaching and prophesying thank you and by the grace of god He's given us one more beautiful day to try and save another soul. And, uh, wow. Seems like summer's coming to an end quick here. We're, it seems like the, we just started July and here we're already middle of August. It's, uh, actually past the middle of August now. But, uh, I don't know. It just, time's flying, guys. We need to, get ourselves together and you know try and bring some in for the lord i just wanted to leave you this message and uh may god be with you this is god's gifts and uh be blessed be safe and uh be covered in your armor amen bye-bye